Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Kurt, and, um, you know, there's talk now, well, last I heard on the radio that nothing had changed, and that government is on its way to shutting down. And I would just have to say, um, and? I mean, how often do I wake up in the morning and think, oh, I have to get down to that government office today so I can get something from them. What? What will I do if they're closed? Oh, oh no, woe is me. Oh, life as we know it is over. Oh, in fact, if anything, it's the opposite. I wake up in the morning and think, how can I keep government out of my life today as much as possible? And this is the perfect solution. Government offices being closed. It's fantastic. It's, a, it's like a divine gift to all of us to realize how little we need those losers up in Washington. Do you realize that this is over? The Democrats are being sticklers over th something like $30 billion. $30 billion. Now, I want to point something else out to you. The budget that they're griping about right now is was supposed to be started back in April of 2010 and finished in October of 2010 but the Democrat controlled Congress at the time was too cowardly to actually get it done instead they continue to pile on more continuing resolutions one after another which the Senate was more than happy to go along with and the president was all more than happy to sign and now he talks about how Women's health is going to be affected, and how, uh, you know, the troops aren't going to get paid. Well, there was a solution that went forward today, where the troops would have gotten paid, and they would have extended this, this stuff on uh, a couple more weeks so they could, you know, work out their differences. And um, Harry Reid, as usual, just like he's done for the past few months, didn't want to get the job done. And Obama, of course, doesn't want to get the job done because they've got some kind of polling data that says this is good news for Democrats. Well, I kind of like the government not being in business. I kind of like the government being totally shut down. So I'm fine with a government shutdown. To my congressman, Robert Hurt, I say keep up the good work. Shut it down. And I think you should call your congressman and thank him for the great job he's doing of making sure that these idiots up in Washington get some fiscal restraint, put their financial house in order, and fix the mess that they've created over the last two to ten years, depending on how you look at it.